My Minecraft builds kind of suck, both inside and out. But luckily, Green has some great building words of wisdom. You can't polish a poo. <laughs> uh, okay. Anything a little more useful? It's really important when you are going over your style to really think about what palette you are going to use. So with our theming here, obviously we've already got a couple of the blocks that we're using, mainly these three, but I also want to try to throw in some honey blocks and some normal acacia planks and stuff, just to add a little pop of color and stick with that kind of acacia theme we've got going on. To start with here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these honey blocks up here as I think they'll add like a nice little shadow there. These beams here, I'm thinking I like the beams, but I wanna change them to be stripped wood. There we go, something like that looks awful. Straight away, I'm gonna frame it up with two bits of log. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and move away from that for now. And I think I want to add like some more cross beams going across down here around this level just to bring it all together and tie it together. So I don't really like the way that that looks right there, so I'm gonna tear that out. Now that that's done, I wanna do it around the top as well. For the top bar here, I'm thinking around that height should look pretty good. Looking around the outside, that's actually about the only place I feel comfortable doing it, but I do think it looks nice there. And we've also got cobblestone wall and iron fences to consider. I'm thinking if we add some fences right here at the front with some lanterns hanging from them, that should look pretty good. Then we just need to figure out how to connect this back together. These acacia doors kind of look really awful. So I'm wondering if switching them out with something like jungle might look decent. I'm really not sure how much I'm liking this. I think throwing in a couple of these around the bottom here might help us a little bit. Then maybe some chains to connect that to the stairs might look a little pleasing. I'm still not liking how this looks. So let's try something different. This is a very common detail trick that you just knock in a shape into the wall and then behind it put a color or you know whatever block you want i think that looks a little better now now we get to tackle this side i'm gonna do the same thing again where i fill this upper crevice with honey blocks then we try to box it off a little bit with the stairs and the slabs we'll fill this upper bit with honeycomb so i'm really just trying to use these honeycomb blocks as somewhat of an accent to pull your attention to one of my favorite things to do is kind of build a lattice out of fences in small spots like this, so I'm gonna try that all the way around here. And I think building it on top of stone bricks like this will give it a little bit of a foundational look. Another option is to add potted plant. I'm thinking that this area right here looks to me like it should be some sort of little garden. So if we just go ahead and take our trap doors here and flip them up, we gotta be careful with sections like this because they actually won't both fit trap doors. So maybe if we put some sort of like honey block there, just as some accent, and then keep bringing it all the way around. Then we can throw some of the lovely new torch flowers here and some beautiful orange and pink tulips. Over here, we've got a couple more areas where we can add a lot of that accent honeycomb. Some people really like this look where it's really over detailed, but for me, it's so crowded that it detracts from the shape of the build. One thing I'm trying to avoid here is losing all of our blue terracotta. I really want that to be part of the build and I'm ending up covering up a little more than I really want to. I'm being pretty finicky here trying to find something that I like, but I think that looks okay. You can see that we've just got something to fill in the corners to take the edge off of those really hard right angles. And then that leaves us able to put something in like a window. Now for the upstairs, since this is where I'm going to be living, I'd like to have some fairly large window. Well, I'm trying really hard to make sure I don't over decorate while still actually getting stuff in each of these areas. I'm definitely struggling a little bit with this part of the whole thing. So adding light sources is a pretty important thing to do. Well, I think that's it on the detailing here. I think it looks pretty good, but I'm not really certain because uh, I'm not good at building. So let me know in the comments, do you think it's looking good or do you think it looks like the worst thing you've ever seen? The key to interior is visualizing how you're going to use the space. If you recall from last episode, we're actually gonna be making the downstairs here, the shop, which means that we've got to get a way to come upstairs and decorate the place that we will actually be living. I see two possibilities. One, we could find somewhere on the exterior to create a separate entrance like right here 
that would take us directly upstairs. Or two, we cut into the floor somewhere and create either a ladder or a staircase. Since I'm leaning a little more towards a staircase and I don't wanna block any of the windows, I'm feeling maybe something like going along this wall to get up into this alcove here. Okay, so it's not the most ideal little staircase, but a little residence only area where you can enter and go up a cramped little staircase to get upstairs seems to fit the owner of a little shop narrative quite well. So the first thing to do with any interior is clean up the inside to give you a workable space. One thing I notice immediately is that we actually have room to add another floor in here, which I think could be nice to separate it from whatever we have as the ceiling down below. If we throw some staircases right around here to let us down into the balcony and the same thing over here, then we can fill this floor in with something new. That's also gonna help us get rid of all of this honeycomb along the side here. I'm thinking we might try this nice new bamboo mosaic block since I have yet to actually use it in any builds. While that does the job of hiding the bamboo, <laughs> it's a little bit of an eyeful. I'm also not liking the dark oak so much. While I'm not sure if it's perfect, I do find the quartz agreeable. So you might even notice that on the roof, you've got a lot of mess and the floor was grass before, so we replaced that. The main goal is to have a very clean room to work with. With the floor handled, it's time to work on making the ceiling looking a little bit more appealing. Running a half block or a normal block around the skirting of your roof often just helps tie it in together and makes it seem less square. In the areas where we can, I'm trying to tie it together with these half blocks, like he said, but that just doesn't work very well with my ceiling type here. Though I think it looks really nice with these stairs going around in this little alcove here. Apart from a couple of beds and some more paintings, there's really not a lot else that can be done here. So I really like the idea of this alcove here being a little bedroom. So if we get maybe some barrels as well, we can use those as bedside tables slash a little bit of storage. So there we go, we've got that like that. And then if we can put some sort of lamp on there, I think that would be really cool. I guess we have, we do have these little lanterns that we could put on each side here, just like that. I think that looks like a nice little bedroom. So finding those little nooks and crannies to fit everything in is the key here. If you've got a blank wall that's not really doing anything, stick a shelf on there and add a chest or some other useful block for your house. Shelves are an excellent way to store all of those useful things like enchanting tables and ender chests and that kind of thing. I think most bedrooms do tend to have some sort of shelf in them, so we'll go ahead and throw a shelf right here just like this with a chest on top. There we go. Then we can access that and we'll put maybe a bookshelf underneath that. If we actually make it a chisel bookshelf that will let us store some of our enchanted books and stuff. In the basement here, I've just added a little kitchen. So that usually just includes some furnaces, some tables and the rails, the detector rails makes a pretty good looking hob. Now, I don't really know any furniture hacks or anything really, so I'm gonna try to copy some of the ones that he did in the video there. I think having a nice chair out here for people to sit on and relax and watch everything would be really nice. And then I also think that, you know, maybe they want to do some cooking out here. So if we put maybe a furnace, a little furnace and blast furnace out here with a detector rail on top as kind of like a cutting board type thing, or whatever that is, I, I, don't, I don't know what they say that is, but that looks kind of nice and it's a little area to do your cooking for your food and then you can eat out here. Maybe we could even throw a little table out here. I'm not sure if we have room for that. I'm actually thinking maybe this is like the barbecue, barbecue area, the cooking area, and then over on this other balcony could be the place where we actually come to eat and kind of just sit out and gaze at things. So maybe if we broke this apart here and set up like a little table here. I think using some upside down stairs here with some slabs could give us a nice little place to sit and eat. I think if we throw a couple of chairs here, I don't know if those should go there or if they should go like right up to it like that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And over here, we could do the item frame with a golden carrot in it because obviously, if you watch Igniter SMP, then you know. And there we go, we got like a little place to sit and eat and watch all of the goings on around town. 
Now I am seeing some more area for shelves right here. So I say we go ahead and throw a couple more chests up there just on top of those shelves. We might as well just throw some under there as well, just kind of as like a little storage closet area. Now we can start using all of our furniture tricks and tips. I've had at least three or four videos on how to make different types of furniture and different designs for various things and I've even got a series on every single room imaginable in a Minecraft house. Now I think one of the biggest things we seem to be missing in our little house here is a whole crafting area. I'm thinking we can throw our stone cutter out here as kind of some sort of meat chopper grinder thing over here in our barbecue section. And we can actually use our crafting table as somewhat of a coffee table, possibly. I'm actually thinking we should turn this into somewhat of a sectional here instead of having two separate couches if we do something like that with a sectional. And then we can actually have our enchanting table be our coffee table there as it's kind of like an interesting, very decorative thing. And then we have it available to us. Then I think we can sneak our crafting table actually along the edge here as kind of like a little side table for our sectional there. Then consider adding a couple of paintings. Now I'm looking around the place and trying to find some spaces that we can put paintings. And one area is right here above our bed. I think that looks absolutely fantastic now. So we have room for one right there. And then I think we actually have some room to throw another shelf full of stuff up here, possibly. I mean, we're gonna be running up these stairs here and yeah, our head clears that all right. Oh, but I've actually got to put it up one higher, one lower. So we won't clear it like that. So maybe we don't quite want one there. We'll put it there for now. And then if it gets annoying, then we move it. Functionality wise, the only thing I can think of that we're missing is like some brewing stands, which I think maybe we put over here on top of some sort of table. Uh, if we put it like that, and then we have a couple of brewing stands over here, it can be kind of like a, a drinks area. When you're detailing your house, you need to see, oh, that, that wall looks blank, that floor looks blank, and wonder how you can fix it. The last little area I'm noticing is a little empty is this spot right here. We could possibly fit a couple of things right there, but I think we've actually got all of our main utilities covered. We can throw like a little table right here and try to throw, ooh, that's not gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna have to just pretend this is a little bit tall and then we put a little lamp on it. Unfortunately, there's no way to really have that powered. So maybe we actually just put a normal lamp on top of there. Since it's just gonna be the little block, I think if we do something like that and then we can throw another chisel bookshelf on top of there as some more storage for some books. We could do just an, another little chair there, like it's just set, pulled to the side, or possibly we just do a normal bookshelf with another chisel bookshelf on top of it. I think this area here could use a nice painting on it. Of course, we only wanna use the very big ones apparently. That's interesting. We actually have like a little alcove of space there. I wonder if there's something we could do with that little alcove. We could put an armor stand. So if we put an armor stand there, with a nice little stair above it. Then we could fill that with whatever armor we need to as another little piece of storage slash decoration. I'm going to have a couple of sea lanterns hanging from some iron fences. We've got a couple of pieces of lighting that I'm happy with, like these ones out here. And obviously our lamp right there, that one's fine. But we need a little bit of lighting somewhere in here and somewhere in the main room as well. We could do another little table with one of these lamps on it. I'm not sure how that looks. I kind of hate it. You can put glowstone underneath your carpets in your main rooms to help light up the room in general. So another option is to actually tear this out and put some carpet in here. Again, I would just go with something purple, but the problem is it just doesn't really feel like it fits right here. It could be if we maybe just put carpet all the way around this, then we could shove some lights under that. And it's like a little carpeted area. I kind of hate it. I kind of hate the carpet there. We could just hang a light from that corner right there. It feels somewhat kind of natural. And if we can insert another shelf there, maybe we can just put a light on top of that shelf. We're still a little bit dark. So if we just set a lamp right there, that might help as well. For this area over here, we actually have enough room in our ceiling to put a redstone block up there and then 
a redstone lamp to give us some light. Let me know how you would rate this interior on a scale from one to 10, because I'm pretty proud of it, but I've also never really done interiors before, so let me know how I did. Make sure to give me a score for functionality and for decoration. As for the downstairs here, you're gonna have to watch the igniter episode to see how I make this into a shop. But until then, you can check out the video on screen where Mumbo walks me through 15 different redstone challenges, one at a time, and I'm not sure I did much better with him than I did with Grian. Can't wait to see you there.